thank you, Mr. Mamadou Abu Sar, for taking the time for us. So, what do you do for a living? I work in finance. I'm the director of product development and sustainable investing at Northern Trust Asset Management, which is one of the largest asset managers in the world. How did you encounter the American culture? I think it brings me back to my childhood. I do remember vividly uh, watching some uh, black and white old Western movies or listening to jazz and blues or the pop culture and even the sport, I'll say basketball was probably the main driver of how I got into the American culture. What are the causes close to your heart? My parents always taught us that one has to live a life with a, a sense of purpose but also passion and uh, that's something that I'm trying to do uh, in my day-to-day -day life and um, there's some few areas that I'm deeply passionate about. The first one is that I care deeply about people and therefore in some of my volunteering activities I'm trying to get involved in mentoring but also involving more kind of civic leadership and addressing issues such as social justice and other type of issues. The second part that I'm deeply passionate about is nature conservancy and also sustainable investing. I have the, uh, the privilege of working in that field in the day to day but also in the activities that I'm supporting, um, I'm also involved in that. And so uh, I'm at the board of the Nature Conservancy for the Illinois chapter and uh, very involved in nature conservation and volunteering. I'm heavily involved in supporting the arts and then um, I have a deep, deep interest for it. And the way I look at it is that uh, art, it's a form of expression that actually can address and, and tackle a lot of aspects of humanity. And so I'm delighted that I'm supporting and part of the FACE in Chicago, which is a French-American cultural exchange. Uh, it's a foundation that is actually focusing on providing a platform for cultural activities that bring together our, kind of the, the Francophone world or, and also uh, closer to what's happening here in America. So that's something that um, I support with my wife and alongside a lot of other friends and that are also part of that network. If you weren't doing your job, what would you be doing? I mean, it depends. If you were to ask my kids and my wife, they will probably say that I'm mimicking basketball players' moves in my house and slam dunking and feathering in my kitchen. So at some point, I guess I probably was rumored about becoming a basketball player, which is ruled out for now. So I will say that I would have been probably more involved in a non-for-profit capacity and in education, something that uh, I have a passion for. In your opinion, what is such a French habit? I will say that in general, and actually I can talk about my, myself, uh, we like asking questions, I love asking questions. The thing is probably leading to kind of the French habit of questioning everything and probing. And so for me, so Socratic questioning is very much of a French trait. So I'll say that uh, questioning and asking a lot of questions is certainly a French habit. What is your favorite place to visit in France? So now that we, we live abroad, we've been living abroad for a long time, to put it this way. So the places I like to visit when I'm back in France is actually home. And my hometown is Les Ilis, uh, the south suburb of Paris. So for me, spending time with the family, with my parents, and making sure that my children also spend time with their grandparents and learn about um, their whole perspective of life and guidance as well. What are your favorite French food? I mean, the French cuisine is fantastic, so it's hard to pick one, but if I were to do so, that would be a gratin dauphinois, and uh, made by uh, a very renowned chef, known as my dad, who's a fantastic cook, so his gratin dauphinois is a must. What is your favorite place in Chicago? Uh, this one is straightforward. It will be the United Center, supporting the Chicago Bulls, row one, seat one, every home game, this is exactly where you will find me. What is the best advice you have ever received? The one I can think of is not so much an advice I've received, but something that I've read, a quote that I've read, and I think it's attributed to Anthony uh, Robbins. And the quote is the following If you always do what you've always done, you will always get what you've always gotten. And I think the quote is actually uh, very profound and somehow. Uh, summarizes pretty well my spirit. I like to start new things and give it a try and fail and start again. So I, I think that the quote is, uh, is extremely powerful. For this interview, you chose your home. So what does this place mean to you? Home is where we spend time with the family, we laugh, we cry, we, we, uh, we pray, we, we welcome guests. So from my perspective, uh, whomever is passing our door, it's not a guest, but it's family. So 
Yeah, thanks for coming and now you're part of the family. So what are you looking for next? Well, I'm looking forward to see my four lovely children growing up and uh, taking off with their own lives and uh, enjoying life to the full of their capacity. And in another way, actually, I'm just looking forward for tomorrow. And for me, um, tomorrow is just another day. That brings a set of opportunities but also challenges. And uh, I've always been told that one has to take one day at a time and always reset. And therefore, I'm just looking forward to having a fantastic day tomorrow.